2015 show 2015 intro, it's officially the future! Hey guys, welcome to the Comic Book Girl 19 show. In 2015, things are gonna get really weird. We're gonna talk about some far out shit. We're gonna get really esoteric with it. It's gonna make you feel super uncomfortable, but you just need to learn to run with it! The theme this year is embrace the chaos. Embrace the chaos! 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 And of course, this year we've got Robot back on the show better than ever. He fixed that loose wire that's been plaguing him for years. Oh yeah, baby. Loose wire's finally fixed. He's back. Oh no. Button fell off. We're gonna be more offensive in 2015. We're gonna be more raw. We're just gonna say whatever we feel like saying. There's gonna be more beer on the show this year. That's for sure. Embrace the chaos. All new this year, we've got a new character. Space Brain! What's the deal with Space Brain? Space Brain is from outer space or another dimension or time. I don't know, okay? I don't know where he's fucking from, but what I do know is that he is here, he's very intellectual, and he's here to write a documentary book about humans. So he's observing us. Shut up, Space Brain, it's not about you. This year it's about talking about movies and comics and TV shows and art, whatever we feel like talking about, sometimes at the same time. We're gonna sneak in comic reviews into the movie reviews so that you'll be forced to learn about comics. Oh, what? Why do you keep saying embrace the chaos? Isn't chaos a bad thing? Absolutely not, robot. We're taught to think that chaos is a bad thing in our society because it's all about order and everything happening when it's supposed to, but that's fucking boring. Without chaos, there would never be any change, and change is awesome, and evolution and things get better. But it's uncomfortable. The universe is partially made of chaos. Why do you think that they can't figure out quantum fucking mechanics with regular physics? Hmm, I'm not sure about that. This year, our show is gonna focus on art and not just entertainment. Isn't everything entertainment? All right, so art can be entertainment, and entertainment doesn't necessarily have to be art, so we're just gonna talk about the art that is also entertaining, that we love, uh, that teaches us something, and instead of just making us forget about our shitty lives, it makes us feel something and become better people. That's what we're gonna be talking about. We're gonna be talking about themes, we're gonna be talking about lessons learned for your life within fiction. Fiction makes you a better person. There's like a hundred articles out on the internet right now about how reading fiction books makes you a better person. And I believe that. Okay, it's called empathy. We're gonna learn a little bit of this year. We're gonna learn about ourselves. We're gonna learn about each other. We're gonna learn about art. We're gonna learn about non-linear patriarchal fucking systems. We're gonna learn about abstract stuff. It's gonna be all about the abstract this year. We're gonna learn about it because no one else is teaching it. And I guess I'm gonna have to. I don't know, that sounds a little bit scary. It is scary, but scary is also fun. Alan Moore says that art has the power to transform the soul, and I believe that. This show's awfully long for YouTube. I prefer 30 second YouTube videos. If you prefer 30 second YouTube videos, then you're in the wrong place and you need to move on. Look guys, art is really important, because like, what are we all doing this for if you don't have time to make art? You know what I'm saying? And according to Ray's Kurzweil noted futurist, he says that we are pushing the singularity where art will have a renaissance. And I believe that's happening right now. So I'm here to help you navigate that renaissance since nobody else is gonna help you. Renaissance. <laughs> when do videos come out on this channel? Videos come out on this channel sometimes this week, sometimes next week, and sometimes not at all. What? Yeah, it, there is no order here. It is embrace the chaos, putting out videos whenever we can. We're, we're gonna put out a show when it's ready and when it's done and not before. Okay, I'm not sure how I feel about this. Expectations are the mind killer and we're gonna have no expectations for 2015 and neither should you. We're gonna go with the flow. We're gonna let all the groundwork we did in 2014 manifest itself in this year, however it seems fit. We're gonna take all the stuff we learned last year and we're gonna be better this year. We're gonna have a lot of fun, but this year is also gonna have its own unique challenges and problems and chaos, but we're gonna embrace the chaos and it's gonna be totally awesome. So now's the time to subscribe to my channel, like my videos, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Tumblr for all your comic book girl 19 news and updates. To be scared of chaos is pointless. It's woven into the basic laws of physics. 
and we really all have to accept it as a fact of life. The discovery of chaos was a real turning point in the history of science. They realised something truly astonishing, that there was a very deep and unexpected link, a truly cosmic connection between nature's strange power to self-organise and the chaotic consequences of the butterfly effect. They discovered that the natural world could be deeply, profoundly unpredictable. But the very same things that make it unpredictable also allow it to create pattern and structure. Order and chaos. It seems the two are more deeply linked than we could have ever imagined.